Let's take a look at the form and business rules that the wizard generated. Click on the Employees tab to select it and click the pencil icon to edit the form. The wizard has generated three sections, one for each step. The first section called My Items has some fields that are auto-initialized by a business rule. The second and third sections are for manager and finance approval. Let's add a few fields. Add a table and relevant columns for a purchase order. Make sure the columns are labeled and named correctly. Form design is covered in other tutorials, so we won't go into details in this video. The final table has description, quantity, unit price, and subtotal columns. Column widths have also been adjusted as appropriate. We've also added a grand total. It'll sum up the subtotals for each line item. The subtotal and grand total fields are disabled since we'll compute them automatically. We'll also hide the manager ID so it's not visible. Check out the Form Designer tutorial on our website for a detailed guide to designing forms. Go to the Rules tab and open the first rule. You can view it by clicking the pencil icon anywhere in the rule. This rule will run when the workflow is on the employee step. On this step, it initializes various fields and also enables the generated My Items section. If the condition is false, meaning you're not on the employee step, the My Items section is disabled. Other rules show and hide approval sections dynamically. For example, here's a rule that shows the manager approval section when the workflow is on the manager step or any subsequent step. Let's add a couple of rules to automatically calculate the subtotal and grand total. Click plus to add a new rule, change its name and click run builder. Click add condition twice to add two conditions. We want to calculate the subtotal when we have a quantity and a unit price. Click Next. When unit price and quantity are filled, we want to multiply them to compute the subtotal for that row. Notice that you didn't have to worry about table rows creating loops or anything of that sort. The Rule Builder takes care of these details. When the condition is false, meaning either the unit price or quantity is empty in a particular row, we want to remove the subtotal from that row. Computing the grand total is equally easy. There's no condition, so simply click Next and set the grand total to the sum of the subtotals. As before, you don't have to worry about looping through table rows, figuring out which subtotals are empty, etc. We take care of the details. Let's try out our changes. Run the workflow. As an aside, running the workflow will automatically save it. See how the manager ID is no longer visible. As you fill in items in the PO, subtotals and the grand total are automatically calculated. Sign the form and click the Continue button to route to the manager and finish the workflow as before. In the next video, we'll see how to route to the specific manager rather than to an email address.